Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone had a great time celebrating 4th of July. I know that we sure did celebrating this great country we live in. But with that being said, we got to get back down in the shop and get to work on second gen project. We got to knock out the uh, last little parts that we have before we get ready for first fire. As you can see, here's where we sit. She is not far from being a completed unit, but we are missing everything on the front end of the truck. So we still have the intercooler, radiator, and then we have all our piping that goes along with that, along with the intake horn. But looking over here at the parts table, we have that all set out, and that is what we're going to be working on. Big ticket item uh, today is going to be getting the intercooler installed. This is from Smedding. Uh, really good, nice, beefy unit. We're going to have all the airflow uh, coming through this from our turbo back into the intake of the engine. So that'll be exciting to install that. Next thing you can see on the table is our radiator, which is this is just a new OEM factory style radiator. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then it has the fan shroud painted on it. So went back with the gloss black to match everything underneath the engine bay. So that's going to be right after the intercooler when we install it. And then coming over here, you can see that we have the top frame for the front clip of the uh, truck, our upper radiator pipe, and then our intake horn along with our grid heater delete block. So we'll get into further detail on that. But right now, this is kind of everything that we have left uh, that needs to be installed on the front end of the engine. This will kind of tie everything together. And then we have our hot pipe and our charge pipe for our turbo that we got to make sure that it's fabbed up correctly and we can put the intercooler boots on. But we're going to start with the intercooler. want to go over the smedding unit. Um, really nice unit. So let's go ahead and take a peek over there at it. So I got this intercooler from smedding off MDC Diesel. Um, they are based out of Texas. So kind of keep everything local here. Uh, they were able to ship it to me. It did have to ship freight. So um, it was a little bit extra shit, but it is a good size unit. You can kind of see back here um, just how thick it is. The factory one is not near this thick. So we're getting, I believe the website says about 47% more airflow, especially when you start getting into bigger size turbos. But here's what she looks like. Uh, looking over here at the front clip of the truck, we may have to do a little bit of uh, bending of the fenders and just see how it sits in there. But basically the tabs are going to line up right there and right there. And we'll go ahead and get this knocked out first but super excited to see that this is going to be on the front end of the engine uh making sure that all the boost that we're sending through the engine is cool as possible but we'll go ahead and start with that i'll set you up on a tripod um get it set in there and kind of go over if we ran into any uh, clearance issues and um let's get to work <music> All right, so here's what it looks like on the front end of the truck. Looks really good. The fitment was just a little bit tighter than I thought. Um, did have to go ahead and bend a little bit of the fender back right here, but you can see that we have clearance. And then also we have clearance right here, still a little bit closer than I'd like. So I may have to do a little bit more adjusting on that. But right now, everything kind of fit in there good. We are locked into the tabs right here um, where they sit the grommets and this one over here so this is kind of where it needs to be at um, our holes are lined up right here so this is the way the intercooler is going to sit in there and then we will go ahead and drop the radiator in next um, you can't see that we do have our fan so hopefully everything clear is good um, but She's a heck of a unit on there. Looks really, really good. We'll get the radiator dropped in there and then see what kind of space we still have left in between our fan clutch and our intercooler. Uh, that one was a little more work uh, just because we had to get around the fan um, and then also be able to hit the tabs down here but it's in there uh, we still need to make sure to put the top frame on because that's where this uh, bolts down into but you can look down there we have good clearance and then for the intercooler piping to go straight up to the intake so we're good right there had to move a couple of these battery cables around but 
we'll see exactly how we want to route them. Um, right now, they're just kind of sitting right here next to the, uh, the fan shroud. But we do have that space going up through here to our intake. And then as you can see down here, our fan is not hitting. Our fan clutch is not hitting. So we're good there. And we will also have enough clearance for how I want to run the breather on the uh, crankcase port. Um, but for now, everything's kind of loose in there. Uh, it kind of rocks. So we need to get the top frame on and then bolt everything down and see how it fits. But same for over here. Uh, we don't have any clearance issues. Everything looks good. So I don't see anything getting in the way uh, for when we go to uh, get our uh, hot pipe from here down to our intercooler. So here she is, where she's gonna sit, where she's gonna look for first fire. Everything looks really good. Um, let's go ahead and knock out the top frame, get this kind of tightened down and then see where we're at from there. All right, so here's everything bolted together. Went back together pretty easily and everything looks good. We got a gap and then we have everything lining up right here. Um, now we just got to start putting our bolts in one right here and then one right here to hold this. And then we have these on the back side that run through there and go into this bolt hole right there. So that is the plan moving forward. Let's get this all bolted down, locked together, and then that should be it as far as these two installments go. And then we'll kind of work our way through the parts table over here, go over the uh, upper radiator pipe, and then also what we have for our grid. Here are the four bolts. Ended up painting them so they look good, especially the ones out here on the front. We don't want any rust showing. Uh, we want it as clean as possible for when you open the hood. All right, one thing I did forget to mention is that these do have rubber uh, grommets that we you do have to slide over this little opening right here. Smetting uh, intercooler already came with brand new ones, so we didn't have to worry about that. But if you don't um, have a spacer in here, then it will end up hitting your, your fender right here, this top plate. So we'll go ahead and insert those. I do have them in our hardware over here. So we'll get this out of here and um, slide them over and then we'll be good. Here's what they look like. They'll just slide directly over just like this. Let's take the bolt out. All right. Basically just a standard isolator slash grommet. Here's our other one right here Let's see if there's a cleaner one in there there's multiple of them this one's pretty clean go ahead and push that one on right here right there now it'll suck up tight and you won't worry about hitting your fender right there where my fingers at there's everything bolted down we have that one this one right here same thing on the other side but everything looks good everything's tight locked together not going anywhere so let's go take a look at the upper radiator pipe so this came from full send diesel um they're basically one of the only ones i know that actually makes the uh, upper radiator pipe for the 94 to 02 trucks. Chose not to go with any powder coat color because this is gonna match our valve cover. It's gonna look really good going over the top of the engine. Um, so right now, this is uh, 
the piece that we plan on running. Uh, we already have our clamps, but let's go ahead and see how this fits on here. It does have the honeycomb right here with their brand and logo on it. So just looking at it right now, we're gonna have to do something different with the way this pipe's sitting. But let's go ahead and look over here at Noah's truck and see if the battery cables are running over. And so, but it's such a different setup right now that that's not even really giving us anything to work with. So I'm gonna sit and see where and see how we're gonna route this and clear all of our battery cables uh, the way it's set up. All right, so here's the end product of how we're gonna run these. So we're gonna go through the pipe in between it and the fan shroud. And you can kind of look down there that they're running pretty darn good. Um, we'll keep these two the same going up here. And then this one will kind of go the same way that we had it. So essentially what we did was we just took these off and ran them up and over the uh, radiator pipe. And then this one kind of ran the same. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Move this one over. So we got all the room in the world to run our piping up to our intake horn. But that's the way it's going to sit for right now. Um, these aren't rubbing on anything. We got good clearance. This is all good. I think the reason why it's a little bit different is because of the size of this battery compared to a uh, factory battery, the Group 31. Um, I did loosen up the battery hold down and then move it over a little bit more this way. So we do have a bigger gap uh, between it and the radiator pipe. So now we can pull this off without having to move any of the uh, battery cables. And then this side is good to go. Uh, this lined up well. So all we got to do is put a clamp, clamp, and then clamp and clamp. And that's what we have over here on the table. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get our grid heater delete block on there. Uh, just needs two gaskets, only came with one, had to order another one. Um, but here they are, so we get to pick and choose what we want. This is just extra hardware that we're not gonna use. Here's the two clamps, all along with the other two clamps. And then this is our intake horn. This is powder coated the same color as our turbo housing the compressor housing and then also our elbow along with our piping from our turbo to our intercooler so that's going to go up here just like this All right, so we got that bolted on right here, not tightened down, but gasket, grid heater delete, gasket, and then long bolt, long bolt, short, short, and then we're good to go. Not all the way tightened down, but that's kind of what she'll look like when you pop the hood. Everything looks super clean, good little color flow got going on with the billet and then the, uh, the powder coat, and then also our battery cables, but everything looks super clean under here. Everything fit well. So that's what we're gonna run with. But she looks amazing. Look at that front end, smetting diesel. For now, that's what you're gonna see because I don't wanna install the AC yet because usually the uh, condenser for the AC runs right there over to that bracket right there. But that's what she's gonna look like. Has a couple of different angles. Give you an idea of just how rowdy it's gonna be. But honestly looks amazing. Everything fit well. Couple of rerouting on the batteries, but that never hurt anyone. And then here's kind of what the engine bay looks like down there below. Kind of have to clean up that down there, but you can see there's our intercooler right here up to there. So we got one straight shot. That should be pretty easily. And then we'll just have to try to fit up our piping from here to here. So that was what we wanted to cover in today's video. We're going to go ahead and knock out those clamps. It's going to be a quick little video. Everything is very straightforward. Pretty easy install, and that kind of rounds out the rest of the truck. Uh, we're going to do a little update video after this one, kind of show or kind of going over the plans for this truck. Now, since we have it together, key on power, uh, we have the front clip installed. Still have to get a windshield, have someone coming out on Monday to do that. Uh, and then on that video, we'll kind of explain um, and share the plans for the truck moving forward, where first fire is going to take place. Um, who we're going to collab with to uh, make sure that the truck's 100% ready to go across the board. And then she's a certified ripper after that. But for now, let's get those clamps on and then we'll close out the video and let's get to work. All 
All right, there she is complete. A little bit more difficult than I thought. Should have went done this side second. Uh, pretty tight if you don't have that side loose to uh, put these clamps on and get it out past the, uh, the boot. But that's what she looks like. We're good to go. And that is going to close out this video. Wanted this to be a little bit quicker video given the last one was uh, almost up to 30 minutes uh, installing the battery cables, making sure everything's good along those lines. But this is going to be a quick little video of installing the rest of the parts that we have. Uh, they're installed. They're good to go. So that's going to kind of close out the truck. The truck is ready for first fire 100%. Um, like I said earlier, we'll do a quick little update video kind of explaining, um, you know, who we're going to team up with for first fire, uh, where we're going to take the truck. So stay tuned for that one. That was going to be coming out here shortly. Uh, probably going to upload this video this week and the next one will follow the week after. But yeah, super excited where the truck's at. Lots of hard work. Lots of time spent down here, but... It's all paying off, as you can see right behind me. There it is, almost a full vehicle ready to go. Uh, just needs a windshield and a couple other touches, but uh, we'll do those off camera. So yeah, that'll close up this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share this where you talk diesel. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Boss out.